gentlemen, I'm about to leave my house and I was thinking to myself, all these other YouTube guys, you know, these guys that have come along since my dawn of YouTube many years ago, they have like cool sayings and stuff they do whenever they go to a job. So I'm gonna make my own cool saying. I don't know what it is yet, this is spur of the moment. So it's like, let's do some work, that's what Zach does. Uh, Roddy says let's br not break something or something like that. How about, how about like, uh, let's, let's, let's air condition. Crap. Guys, we have an American Standard here that I'm going to do a little bit of checking and cleaning. Got the Vito. Got the Monster Shop back over here because we have to get down in there and get all those leaves out of there. Got my supplies for cleaning the coil as well. Got some heavy duty Viper. Got the Viper foam gun, the hose, and those are my Y Jack probes in the black case. So let's get ready and open this thing up. I'm going to go ahead and check the capacitors while I have it open before I clean. And we'll clean it up. That's about right. No power to this outlet. Tried to reset and test it. Still no power. Okay, rocky start. We got this. All right, got south wire. 2103T. Check it to ground too, and we should be good. All right, the forty side is good. And the five side is good. P51's hooked up. We're following the pressures here. I gotta get everything else hooked up. I have the probes inside in the ceiling that I have to uh, have to hook up the line temperature probes out here. There we are right now. We'll see where it ends up here shortly. Of course our coil is still probably gonna be a little damp, so we'll let it run for a few minutes to dry off the coil as well. And we have an angry sky coming. So cross your fingers. Right now we have 146, 147 over 71, and we have 3.8 sub cool 19 superheat. So we'll continue to let it run, let that head pressure build a little bit. It's not that warm outside, it's probably around 75, 80 degrees, but we'll have to let it run for a few more minutes. 
So we get that coil all dry. And we're set up for R22, this old R22 system, which uh, historically has been pretty good. This is the Y-Jack View app that I'm looking at here. You could change it over. Well, it's hard to do with the glove line, but I'll switch it over to psychometrics here. As you can see, we just started running a minute ago. We have about a seven degree split. It's gonna build up here as we keep going. Relative humidity is 60, or about 60%. So we should have something like a 16 or 17 degree split, somewhere around 16 degrees from return to supply. About five or 10 minutes go by and we have a delta T of, let's see, just over 14, so we're building in that right direction. It hasn't quite been that that full running time where you'd expect a steady state operation. Relative humidity is 69% on supply, 57, so it's coming down on the return. Also, our pressures are building up a little bit on the head pressure side. Suction pressure and temperature are being controlled by TXV. So, suction pressure, superheat. So. so you can see the uh, the stuff on the screen here, or you can see it on the app. I just happen to use the app most of the time, especially since I'm using a different camera now. These are the Y-Jack probes I have in place. Y-Jack wireless temperature clamp. The other one inside called the Y-Jack Do. And then there's a range extender, which I've never actually had to use because I work on little itty bitty residential stuff like trailers and mud huts and yurts and things like that. So there we are. We'll check back in about five or 10 minutes and see how we're doing. Compressor amps is 6.64, which is good. I think we're two tons. I have to look again. But that's good either way. And then we do the fan motor down here. We have, let's see how it moves around. 1.01. It seems like, uh, seems like that'd be a little bit high. Let me see what it's rated for. We are two and a half tons. We see the 3030, two and a half tons. Heritage 13, 2006. Serial number, blah, blah, blah. R22, we have a compressor, 9.5 running load amps, which is good. Our outdoor fan motor is 0.9, so we're right at that, so we're gonna need to watch that outdoor fan motor, make sure it's behaving. But it seems to be operating okay. But we'll see. We'll uh, notify Miss Joan inside and make sure she knows that we need to watch out for that. We are right there on the edge, a little bit higher, depending on where you put the amp clamp. We're looking at 18 minutes of run time here, 176 over 68 thereabouts. We have a temperature split of 72.8, almost 73 to 56. It's 16.2, which is right on the money for where we want it to be. Let's see here. Pressure temperature wise, sub cool 6.6 .6 over 19, so we're squared away there too. So everything's looking pretty good. This machine overall is pretty good. I think the concern is going to be our fan motor up there. We have a contactor to watch, and I think that's where we're going to be at with this one. So overall, looking pretty good for a 16 year old system. Pretty healthy, pretty happy. So we'll give them the thumbs up with a couple of cautions to watch here in the future.